squad it's quads and welcome to today's review video now you would be forgiven for assuming the footage that you've just seen on screen was of a larger more powerful drone than what we're actually reviewing today because we are reviewing believe it or not a sub 250 2.5 inch fpv drone and when you look at some of those shots that open this sequence that open this video that open this review and you think 2.5 inch sub 250 surely not quads surely you're pulling a fast one here but no i'm genuinely not we're reviewing the sub 250 oasis fly 25. this is my first connection with the brand sub 250 so i'll introduce them to you a company who strive to provide the best quality equipment for sub 250 gram drones at an affordable price and so far what i've seen i've been incredibly impressed with what is the oasis 25 in short as i've mentioned it's a 2.5 inch fpv freestyle drone but in reality it's a little bit more than that looking at the spec we've got the 1404 4500 kv motors which will give you a configuration of a 4s you could potentially step down to 3s if you are a relatively novice pilot who wants a little bit less power we have an f7 all-in-one flight controller which also includes inbuilt elrs of either 2.4 gig or 900 megahertz weight without battery etc 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 comes in at around about 171 grams and they offer it in a plug and play version where you can add your own o3 in with an o3 i think it also fits cadex now with a tbs nano or elrs they recommend a forest lipo of between 530 and 730 ma and it includes an xt30 and of course it comes with H hq props as you all know i am a hq sponsored pilot hq are always my go-to that is a reason enough to buy it no it's not it, but um, it's, it's part of the reason but yeah weight wise if we look at a 660 mar 4s lihv that brings us in just over 240 grams i then added the flyfish m10 nano gps to this and there's a reason why i did that and that's because of all the more daring flying that this thing was just literally daring me to fly that brought me in at 248 grams so you can add an m10 from flyfish and still be under 250 grams with a 600 and 60 ma lihv if you had an if you add an 850 pack that'll take you to about 275 grams can it long range well the simple answer to that is yes but it's a little bit more complex than that as always the reason for that is you do only have 2.5 inch props they can only shift so much volume of air at any given speed that you set it at so eventually you're going to come to a point whereby that battery is going to run out because you've only done so much distance it can long range it flies absolutely beautifully tracks really well um just yeah absolutely but you are going to be limited to the size of your battery and the fact that you do only have 2.5 inch props so whilst you can do it i probably wouldn't do it if you was in something like a mountain range or somewhere that was high altitude but certainly if you wanted to skip a few fields along you know maybe not maybe not long range maybe medium range is probably the best way of describing it what's its top speed well i did a few speed tests and i will obviously put it on the screen now the dvr footage will show the speed that we achieved ultimately i did a couple of speed tests where i topped and this was with the gps obviously because we wouldn't be able to speed test it without i managed to top out at 130 kilometers an hour or for those of you that use miles per hour 90 miles an hour again 90 miles an hour for something that's two and a half inches that's sub 250 grams that's pretty wild I think my I know in America there is like a speed limit when it comes to FPV drones um I don't know how rigorously it's uh enacted but I do know from reading some Facebook groups that ultimately you're not really allowed to go more than 100 miles an hour 
obviously I've had, certainly in the UK, I don't believe we've got anything like that. I'm going to better be careful what I say just in case we do. But as far as I'm aware, we don't. And if you know any better, let me know below. Also, if your country does have a speed limit for FPV drones, drop your country below on what that speed limit is, because I'd love to know. Obviously, I've had uh, a six inch, oh, sorry, five inch 6S way beyond 100 miles an hour. Um, but the gap actually isn't as big as you think. From, from memory, the top speed that I've had a, a 5 inch 6S quad is about 130 miles an hour. So, really, the, okay, it is, it is faster than this, obviously, because it's got bigger props and it's got a bigger battery. But actually, the gap and the legalities of each one, they're, they're coming a lot closer to each other. The flight time, what's his flight time? So, if we was to go out and give it hard freestyle i was getting on average with a 660 mar li hv pack and the gps so taking us to 248 grams on average i was getting between three and a half and four minutes per pack hard freestyle if i was then to do light cruising with maybe a little bit of freestyling i'd get about five five and a half minutes and if i was just cruising i can get well over six maybe even seven minutes with the same pack now if you think that I've earned a sub from you today with this review video, then I would absolutely love it if you would go down below and just click the sub button. If you think I've earned a share, please do give this video a share and please do leave a comment. But if you don't think I've earned it, that's absolutely cool because I'll keep trying and I'll keep plugging away until I do earn that from you. How well does it freestyle? Well, we know it does freestyle because we spoke about how long the battery will last. And this thing sort of dares you to be a little bit more dare. If, if you're a little bit like me and a little bit cautious when it comes to the bigger craft, like I can freestyle them, but I'm a little bit cautious. When it comes to the lighter craft, I'm getting a lot closer to the tree. I'm flying a lot harder, I'm flying a lot faster, and I'm flying for a lot longer. So not only can it freestyle, but I mean, I don't mean for it to sound like a sales pitch because this isn't what I mean, but it's made me a better pilot. Could potentially do the same for you too. But as always, the main question with these reviews, because these are honest and genuine reviews, these are not reviews where I am pushing it to get a sale out there because ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm in this for the love. I'm not in it for the fame, fortune. So ultimately, I will always answer the question of, should you buy it completely honestly, as if I was the buyer spending my own money? And the answer to this is, as always, maybe. And the reason for that is thus. If your main application for an FPV drone is flying high into mountains at high altitudes over long range, this is not a quad for you. The props are too small, the battery is too limited, and also you're going to go above that 250 gram weight limit that this has been designed to stay under and you're going to lose all of the freedoms that this actually gives you. However, if your main application is freestyle, having fun, dare I say, dare I say, this would probably ban no bash quite well. It's re I mean, we've got a, an aluminum camera cage. The carbon is relatively thick for something so small. We've got guards on the motors. Dare I say, it probably would bando bash quite well. And I'll be honest, when you look at the build that I've built, I didn't think I'd like it. So as you can see, I've done all these beautiful B-roll shots of high quality slow motion and, and really making it look as nice as I can. But my O3, or the O3, should I say, is cable tied on along with the GPS because I didn't think I'd like it. I thought I'd fly it, I'd test it, I'd review it, and I'd probably remove the O3 and use it for something else. That's not gonna be the case. So now I've finished this review and all the testing that I've done with it, I'm gonna screw in the O3 properly so it's in there permanently, and I'm gonna hard mount the GPS so it's on there permanently. It can stay above the O3, by the way. For anybody that does wonder, I was getting between 12 and 18 satellites within 30 to 45 seconds directly above the O3. So it doesn't cause interference. I mean, I dare say the further away you get it from the O3, the quicker and the more satellites it will pick up. But it isn't, it isn't a problem. So it is going to be one that stays and it is going to be one that you will see a lot more of on the channel moving forward. So if you're somebody who wants to chill, who wants to freestyle, who wants to medium range, who wants to stay under 250 grams and subvert these absurd laws that we're getting, right now with FPV drones, then I would absolutely 
100% recommend that you pick up one of these Oasis Fly 25s from Sub 250. There is a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps me to keep creating this content and bringing new things to you. I'm going to keep bringing as many new things as I possibly can, as often as I possibly can. So if you can use these affiliate links, that will just help the channel grow and grow and grow. As always, you've all been absolutely incredible. I've been Quads. Until next time, peace.